For improved system performance, long-term financial returns, and less risk on your PV projects, look to the proven performance of DuPont Materials and Solutions. Hello and welcome to this week's newscast, coming up. Germany reveals PV installation figures for the start of the year. Sales plummet and losses soar at LDK Solar. And new record conversion efficiency for organic tandem solar cells. Germany's Federal Network Agency has announced that during January and February, the country collectively installed around 650 megawatt of solar panels. That's almost double the amount installed for the same period last year. Bloomberg reports that installations rose nearly 450 megawatt in January and about 200 megawatt in February. PV figures for March are expected to be announced next month, with the Financial Times Deutschland claiming that in March alone, Germany will have added nearly 1.1 gigawatt to the grid. A report from investment bank Jefferies says that the Japanese government's proposals to develop solar PV on a grander scale are a positive move for the PV industry as a whole. However, the report highlights that manufacturers with a large European presence may lose out on investment opportunities in the emerging market. On the heels of the new feed-in tariff that kicks in in July this year, a new master energy plan is being revised in Japan, and it may target up to 100 gigawatt of cumulative PV capacity by 2030. Japan had cumulative installations of 4.7 gigawatt at the end of last year. Jefferies estimates the country will grow to over 10% of the global market, up from Japan's current share of 5% today. Details of the expected tariffs can be found on our website. Delayed fourth quarter and full year results at LDK Solar show the full extent of the challenges facing the integrated PV manufacturer. Having already revised downwards its fourth quarter figures, the company missed revenue guidance and guided first quarter revenue to levels not seen since the second quarter of 2009. The loss from operations for the fourth quarter of fiscal 2011 was 531.4 million US dollars. Heavy write-downs across the company led to a net loss of 588.7 million US. Revenue reached 2.15 billion in 2011 compared to 2.5 billion in 2010. The company released a statement blaming weak market demand and rapidly declining average selling prices for the reduced revenue. One of the most popular stories on the PB Tech website this week relates to German thin film startup Heliotech, which has achieved a new organic tandem solar cell world record with 10.7% cell efficiency on a 1.1 square centimeter substrate. Standard testing conditions were undertaken by SGS, which also established that under low light conditions, the efficiency was 15% higher. High temperature operation also demonstrated constant efficiency, claimed to be a unique characteristic for OPV technology, in contrast to traditional solar technology, where efficiency normally drops from 15% to 20% at elevated temperatures. Heliotech is currently seeking to raise 60 million euros from investors to equip and install a new 75 megawatt roll-to-roll -roll production line in Dresden, Germany. Initial volume production of its OPB technology is set for the third quarter of 2012. And finally, the solar industry is one of the fastest growing sectors in the US, according to a report conducted by the Howard H. Baker Jr. Center for Public Policy. They state that the 5,600 solar energy companies in the US currently employ around 100,000 Americans. An interesting conclusion of the report was that the US solar industry is likely to become commercialized following the pattern of other traditional energy sources. Commercialization relies on support by federal incentive schemes, something the Trade Association, SEIA, says is imperative to its future development in the US. The report also notes that all significant US energy sources have seen 30 years of development and uptake followed by a period of rapid growth and mainstream adoption. Well, as the saying goes, watch this space. That's it for now. Warren's back in the studio next week. I'll 
I'll see you soon.